Shapeshifting is an A-list ability that would be great to have in real life. I mean, who wouldn't want to be able to make themselves look young and beautiful forever? We're all constantly judged on our appearance after all. And shapeshifters can change their bodies at will. Now, that doesn't mean they can just change their body to, say, Magneto, and then they have all of his magnetic powers, as it's only their physical appearance that changes. But with that being said, although they can't mimic all superpowers that exist, they can mimic all superpowers that are based on a physical body, such as Beast Boy turning into animals and then having all of their enhanced senses and abilities. And because of this, shapeshifters actually have a lot more superpowers than we generally see them using in media. And this video is going to go over all the extra abilities that all shapeshifters have. Enhanced Durability Now, shapeshifters aren't fully invulnerable, it's true. But they can turn their skin to stone or steel or even stronger metals, and thus make themselves incredibly durable and almost invulnerable. Just look at Colossus from the X-Men. He turns his body into a super strong and super tough metal body at will. And in a way, Colossus actually is a shapeshifter. It's just that he only has the power to shapeshift into steel. Or at least metal, he's not technically steel. But a normal shapeshifter could turn themselves into Colossus's steel form, or even a tungsten or titanium version. Basically, they can make their skin and flesh incredibly dense, and thus be incredibly strong. And a shifter could also turn their skin to diamonds, or a mixture of metal and diamonds, to give it a truly impenetrable structure. Healing Now, most shapeshifters don't have healing powers in media, but if you think about it, it does actually make sense. After all, if a shapeshifter can grow an extra limb at will, or rearrange their body at will, then having your arm ripped off or even being stabbed wouldn't really matter as they could just regrow a new arm and close any wound by concentrating on it. So any stabs or bruises are easily fixed, and even broken bones are no problem at all, as they can just reconnect all the broken bones and put them back together. A shapeshifter has complete control over their physical body after all, so they could just easily re-knit their flesh and be fine. Of course, this only applies to physical injury. A shapeshifter would still be susceptible to a virus or disease. But even so, being able to instantly heal a physical wound would be very useful. And even if they're not a very skilled shapeshifter, they should at least be able to close the wound enough to stop the bleeding. So unless they're unconscious or hit with an overwhelming amount of force, it's virtually impossible for a shapeshifter to bleed to death. Fire powers. Now there is no real reason why a shapeshifter couldn't turn into fire. In fact, some shapeshifters and media have turned into fire. But it's not just about turning into fire itself, they could easily just light their bodies on fire like the Human Torch does, or like Husk from the X-Men does. Husk has the power to shed her skin, and then turn the skin underneath into any material, meaning she can turn herself into wood, gold, silver, or even fire. And if she can do it, then so can a shapeshifter, because once again, Husk is just a shapeshifter that has limited abilities. And turning into silver would actually be pretty useful if you needed to kill a lot of vampires. After all, silver kills them instantly, just the same as it does to werewolves. Super Strength Now, strength comes down to two things. The size of your muscles and the density of your muscles. And since a shapeshifter can increase both of these things at will, they have all the power of super strength and could easily make their muscle structure ten times denser than a normal human's. Which means they're super strong. And while they'd never really be on, say, Superman's level, they would still have immense strength. And if they're a truly gifted shapeshifter, then they could turn themselves into a cyclops or even grow into a giant, which would mean they could easily throw a car or even knock over a building. Now, the strength a shapeshifter has access to is never really exploited in media. But if you can change your body into the Hulk or the Juggernaut, you're obviously going to get a strength boost. After all, you've got giant muscles. Now, of course, this won't be anywhere near as much as the World Breaker Hulk, because it's not just his physical body that gives him his strength. But even so, a shapeshifter would still be a major threat. In fact, a shapeshifter's strength is only limited by their skill level. After all, if they're skilled enough, they could easily make their muscle density thousands of times denser, and have a truly insane level of strength. I mean, if you look at All Might, he just has stronger muscles and stronger bones, and a shapeshifter can do both of these things, so there's no reason they wouldn't be as powerful as All Might is. Camouflage Now, this is a power that a lot of shapeshifters can do, but very few seem to actually utilise. 
The Martians in the DC Universe use it quite regularly, but all shapeshifters should be able to do this because they can change their bodies to look like their surroundings, and potentially even make it so their body is see-through. They might not be truly invisible, but they'd still be incredibly hard to see. And of course, even if they could make themselves completely invisible, it wouldn't really work, because if they did, they'd be blind, as light has to hit the eyes in order for us to see. But if they can become semi-invisible, then they should still be able to see, though likely their sight would be limited. And this is a very good stealth ability. Flight. Now, Beast Boy can turn himself into any animal, including the Peregrine Falcon, which is the fastest bird in the world, and has a diving speed of up to 242 miles per hour. Or he could turn into the white-throated needle tail, which has a flight speed of up to 105 miles per hour. I mean, that's pretty impressive. So a shapeshifter could just become a bird and then they'd be able to fly. Or they could grow wings like an angel and fly. Although I do have to say that in past videos I have talked about this type of flight and how it wouldn't really work in real life as a human's bones are too dense and the wings are too small for proper flight. And that is true. But since a shapeshifter can change their bones density and the size of their wings, then they could easily fly like Angel from the X-Men does. And unlike him, their flight would actually work in real life. And they also have enhanced senses. Since they can control their body at will or turn into animals, then they have the entire powers of the animal kingdom at their fingertips, meaning a sense of smell like a bloodhound, super hearing, as a cheetah, they could run up to 75 miles per hour, which means a shapeshifter actually has a form of super speed, and they can even sense the vibrations in the ground like a snake does. The animal world is incredibly diverse, and shapeshifters have access to it all. In fact, I am actually thinking of doing a Beast Boy video just showing all of the many abilities that he actually has. Because shapeshifters can dig deep underground, or have the agility of a monkey or cat, Shapeshifters have access to this and so many more animal abilities, such as night vision. Now, humans have bad night vision, but a lot of animals can actually see at night quite well. And if a shapeshifter can turn into an animal, then they can probably just shapeshift their eyes to an animal's and then see in the dark. And if they can turn their eyes to look like an eagle's or an owl's, then they'd also be able to see further away than a human. For example, an eagle can see roughly eight times further than a human can. So a shapeshifter's sight would be absolutely incredible, and they'd easily be able to read a book while standing on the opposite side of a room, which would be pretty amazing. And potentially, they could even see across the electromagnetic spectrum as well. A lot of hawks can actually see ultraviolet light, and some animals, such as pythons and rattlesnakes, can see infrared light as well. And if a shapeshifter can mimic their form, then they should be able to see across the spectrum as well, which would be pretty cool. I mean, they'd be able to see heat signatures through buildings, kind of like a light version of Superman's X-ray vision. Although, oddly enough, these snakes don't actually see using their eyes. They see infrared light using small pits that they have on their faces that can detect it. But still, if a shapeshifter can mimic these pits on their face, they should be able to see infrared light as well. And this also might enable them to see the world while they're still invisible, although it'd look very different to the way we see the world, obviously. Breathing underwater. Now, a shifter could turn into a fish to breathe underwater, but they could also just grow gills on their normal body. In order to breathe underwater, you need gills, because the gills separate the oxygen from the water, which our normal lungs obviously can't do. So all a shapeshifter needs to do is grow a pair of gills, and they're golden. And since they can control the density of their bodies, they can also make their bodies strong enough to be able to survive the extreme pressure that occurs at the bottom of the ocean. And of course, they could turn themselves into a mermaid for better swimming ability. Eternal Youth. Now, this one's actually kind of a lie because technically speaking, they don't have eternal youth. You see, a shapeshifter can make themselves look young forever. That's true. But they would still likely age internally. Now, some shapeshifters can rearrange their body to keep themselves young forever, which means they could literally live for all of time. But personally, I think if this power was real, then a shapeshifter would, at best, be able to slow their aging process, but not stop it altogether. But to be fair, living for a few hundred years, or even a thousand years, is still pretty good. But even if they can't live forever, they could definitely make themselves look young until the day they die, which is a pretty useful ability. 
After all, some immortals continue to age, and they just look really old and gross. I mean, if you're going to be immortal, you want to be able to look young as well. Stretchy limbs. Now this one is a little obvious, I know, but I thought it needed to be mentioned. You see, Mr. Fantastic or Elastigirl have great powers that are very useful, but really, they're just limited shapeshifters, able to change their bodies, but only able to make them stretchy. And there is no real reason that a shapeshifter like Mystique couldn't mimic every single one of their abilities. Though, for some reason, no one ever seems to do this in comics. I'm sure it has happened somewhere, but I've never actually read about it, and I've read a lot of comics. So I thought it needed to be mentioned because I'm really confused as to why this never happens in media. They can become gaseous. Now, you might think turning into a gas or into fog isn't really that useful. But think about it. You would be able to fly up through air vents or through open windows or even just go underneath a locked door and break into pretty much any building. After all, air has to be in every building because people need it to breathe. So if you're a gas, then you can go where the air goes, which means you can get into any building you want easily. And if you're in a fight with someone and someone tries to hit you, well, turning into a gas means that they can't do any damage as their hand will just pass right through you. So this ability could actually have a lot of uses, both for fighting crime and for being a criminal. Though it's important not to turn into a flammable gas, of course, or else they could just set fire to you and kill you. Blades. Now this one is kind of obvious, but again, it still needs to be mentioned. A shapeshifter can turn their body into a weapon, easily changing their arms into a sword or an axe, or just extending blades from their bodies like Wolverine's claws. They could even just turn their hands into metal claws, or they could just extend their flesh to make a dagger. They could even make it so that giant spikes come out of their bodies like a giant deadly hedgehog. Basically, if you're a shapeshifter, you always have access to a weapon, because a shapeshifter is literally a living weapon. And in a fight, having access to these blades would be extremely useful. And those are the extra powers and abilities that all shapeshifters have. Although I do have to say that I have chosen very skilled shapeshifters for an example, because, quite frankly, who wants to talk about the shapeshifters who aren't skilled? And I do have to say that there may be more powers that these shapeshifters have, but these are all the ones that I could think of. But if you can think of more powers that a shapeshifter would possess, then please let us know in the comments, along with your opinions on the abilities that I've already mentioned. Do you think the shapeshifters would have these abilities, or would they not? Let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have some merchandise available on our store, and to say thanks to all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.